So do you think about when you're filming? I always wonder, do you think about how I'm going to present myself? How should I project my volume? Uh, are you thinking about your eyes and are you making the right contact with, with the, you know, the video, the, the, the camera? Like, what are you thinking about? I'm trying to think, figure out what techniques you use that seems to work with your audience. Obviously, it took you years and time to, you know, build that rapport mm -hmm. with them. But for somebody listening and somebody like myself, who's still, you know, on the ground, boots on the ground, trying to get up there. What do you think about? What's your process when you're going out sick? You know what? I'm going to go. I'm doing my regular shopping. But how do I engage when I do this film? If I do decide to record. Yeah. So a big part of my decisions is including feedback. And when I say feedback, I'm going to just shoot that word out and then let everyone know don't take it too heavily. Like, because mm -hmm. it's not all feedback that's good feedback, but it's good to know how to accept feedback and how to take action from feedback. And so a big part of why my videos are filmed the way that they are, a big part of why I film in the style that I do or that I show up the way that I do is because my audience lets me know what they like. Mm -hmm. And... Sometimes they let me know without me asking, which is a little harsh mm -hmm. at times. Uh, but then I remember if I change this one thing, it'll make this one person better. And if I can make it better for this one person, there might be 10 other people who are like this one person mm. who it might also help. Right. And so for me in the beginning, I used to go fast between products because there's like a million and one products to show right. <laughs> inside right. that big warehouse. Um, and then I realized, hey, a lot of my viewers are requesting that I go a little bit slower. And mm. some of my reviewers are requesting that they see the product and then the price. I used to show the price and then the product. Mm. Um, and then they would say things like, you know, can you make it like more clear? And I'm like, you know, what? I guess I could make it more clear. But what does that mean? Uh, there were even what it means is to be clear. that they just want better, better video quality oh, I because see. we have sensitive viewers who might not respond well to shaking right, right, right. on the screen. It might impact them in some way, mm -hmm. or it could be something like the glares, which I can't control, but I try to, yeah. I try to like shift around and get as least little glare as I possibly can. Right. It was things like that. And, and the biggest thing that I think made my videos so much better was like the music. So mm. really quickly, I thought I was like a DJ. <laughs> and so, I mean, I still feel like I'm a DJ, <laughs> but I would, I would edit my videos and I would put so much thought into the music. And then I had the music on blast. Cause like I'm listening to it on blast. Right. And I'm like, they're going to be just as hype. They're going to be <laughs> just as hype as me because this song is like keeping me energized through this. Right. And then I would see comments like, oh, it's too loud. I hate music. Mm. I don't like to watch this when you play music. I'm like, well, listen, you know, a part of me is like the music. Right. So right. the music is going to stay, but I'm <laughs> going to have to find the volume number. Right. That is suitable for you. More suited for you. Yeah. Um, it was finding that medium. It was not taking it personal that you don't like it on a high volume. Like, mm. I, I forget that yeah. not everyone would like to hear things on a high level. And so... The biggest advice I guess I can give to anyone who's creating content is stop creating content with the mentality that you're creating it for yourself. Mm. Create the content for the people who want to see the videos or that you want to see yeah, those videos, videos right? Um, because if I'm doing it for me, trust me, the volume's gonna, it's gonna be on a hundred. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'm gonna be here for it, right? But I know that that's not gonna give me the traffic that I want. It's not going to give me the feedback that I want to hear. Yeah. Um, and now I get feedback like, D, I was watching this Costco video and I was like, why is it so weird the whole time? Like the whole time I'm just not in it and I'm thinking D's having like an off day. They get to the end of the video and they're like, oh, it wasn't your video. That's why I didn't like it. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, you should feel a difference <laughs> in my video compared to all the other ones out there. I, I may not have expected yeah. you to say this, but, you know, hearing things like that, it really lets you know that those little tweaks that you make to serve the people who are showing up for you, yeah. 
it truly, it truly helps. And then there's times when I'm not in my best of mode because like real life, yeah. right? It, yeah. Not every day you wake up super happy. And the hardest part about my type of job is that I have to show up on camera yeah. every day, yeah. no matter what I'm doing. And so if I'm having an off day, I, I have to still show up. And what I've started to learn is that my audience knows me so well mm. that even on the days when I'm like doing my best to show that like it's not an off day, they'll leave comments like, oh, your voice sounds a little off. Are you feeling sick again? Are you tired? <laughs> and I'm like, you you know that I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> you can hear that in my voice. Yep. <laughs> With the effort, like that means you are really here for me. Yeah. As opposed to taking it in a, in a negative way like oh you don't think i performed good right, enough right. like that was my best for yeah. that video right yeah. it, it wasn't that attitude it was more like yeah you could tell yeah. that i didn't sleep like that i just want to make another video just for you yeah, now yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make this video. <laughs> the things that i know that you like all those requests that you've been putting mm. in that i didn't get to like that that gets bumped up to the top of my list wow. because you, there's only so much that you can do, but it's all about that impact. And again, thinking business minded. So if you're if you're getting feedback and you don't like it, remember who you're trying to serve. Yeah. You can't serve yourself if no one's there to support you. That's like it. on this journey where you need other support, right? Yeah. So you gotta you gotta detach those feelings, not take it personal, and and make changes. Like they're all tests. If you change and you lower the volume and you hate it, you know, wind it back up again the next yeah. few uploads or whatever the case is. But don't be afraid to change or test things. Like, that's what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. That's the beauty of being a creator. You get to change things without any notice. And try it <laughs> and out. And you just get to test it out yeah. and see if it works. If it doesn't work, nothing's permanent. You switch back, that's right? It. That's it. 